Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I really keep changing my episode. I, episode? I keep changing my intro. Who cares? Anyways, in the last episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we end up talking to Flavio and then managed to find out that we needed ourselves a navigator to be able to actually hit the keyhole key. So we found Admiral Bomberie. Bomberie was basically feeling depressed and he didn't want to go ahead and travel to sea anymore. We talked to the bartender. He had a letter from, his, from Bomberie's dear wife, Scarlet. The letter ends up basically telling Bomberi that he should not go ahead and falter in the love for the sea. That he should love the sea as much as he loved her. So Bomberi basically got the confidence again, and now we are heading back. I mean, I don't know why I said we're heading back. Man, I suck at interludes. Only if it was like a Dragon Ball Z interlude. Like, if I was a Dragon Ball Z interlude, it would probably, probably go something like this. Will Bomberi go ahead and end up beat? Ugh. Crap, I can't do that voice for I, I can't do that voice for long. Uh alright. Anyways, uh yeah, we, we found him. I knew you would get Bobbery aboard. You wonderful mustache man. At least you know, at least this time I don't have myself a different name. I mean, do I? My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies, yes? Preparations are complete. Oh, okay. Another thing I should mention. Unlike the um unlike chapter five in the original Paper Mario. Once you've gone to this island, you can't come back until you finish it. Yes, this one is slightly different because something is going to... Uh, you'll find out, but we're fine as is. But yeah, the reason why the game asks you if you want to go is because once you head there, you're not coming back until you finish the chapter. Wait up! But now it is time to head to Keel Hall Key. Where the adventurers shall be able to find the grand line of the Sapphire Crystal Star. It's time for the Paper Mario King of the Pirates. This is Paper Mario Episode Nonsense. This is X Not One here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X Not One here. Over. Roger, ring your five by infiltration is successful. X Not Black board vessel. Repeat, X Not Black is aboard the vessel. Oh no, one of the Exxons is on our ship. Whatever, shall we? It's not like it was obvious. I mean, we're kind of slow in the uptake on this, but it's actually pretty dumb. Chapter 5. The Key to Pirates. The Key to Pirates. All right, whatever. I'm not going to really complain too much about the, um, the titlements of these chapters. Ah, Sailing the Grand Line. Month Star, Day X and O. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? I am a scum. Flavio will show them guts. Also, I hope you guys equip the Ice Smash badge because you're going to need it. I don't th I think the, um, I think the Ice Stomp is still in this game. I'm not sure. I haven't really found it i mean the fact that they give you the ice smash kind of says a lot it's kind of similar to the like i said it's kind of similar to chapter five where they gave you the badge to be able to defeat the boss in that area mind you the boss in this area is not going to be fire related but eh, you can use it for some scholar captain casts his gaze red jewel shines and plays boom bossa boom festival the stash brothers best of friends three times red stash lands on his end Blue stash belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom! That doesn't rhyme at the Bossa Boom Festival! What the hell was that? Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no? Now I gave him a different voice. Now, ah, whatever. The island is right before our eyes. Do not see it. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. <laughs> I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew the... Great. He's starting again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's no way to escape, too. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt a mid-story, he's absolutely going to lose it. Uh, why is the... What? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio! Offer his side for interrupting that wicked story. But the ship stopped. 
Hmm. I? Stopped you, say to me. After interrupting a story of passion and fury. Well, it is your job to keep the ships moving, yes? Hmm. So take care of it. Oh, uh, aye, aye, Flavio. I'll get to it right. Quit. Wait. Wait up. Uh-oh. What's going on? Aye. I don't know, I'm too out of the- oh, hmm. That's not good. You know, it's a good thing that he's not an infused bomb, because that'd be pretty bad, you know? Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving! Oh, well. That's not good. There are- what is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what's going on? Ooh. No, they're upon us. The pirate's ghost. All oh, them rumors were true. Wow, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Do not panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we are all having. Awake. No, quickly, move the boat! Ooh, oh, that is a lot of fire. Oh, ghostly thing, are you really the Savage Pirate King? Well, uh, well, that's not cool. And we are being attacked, and this is the reason as to why the game ends up telling you if you want to go, because this ends up happening. Shipwreck, y'all! And we all are just sweet with that now. Forget that, make a path. Okay, screw it. Everybody just abandoned ship. And there we go. And just forget it. Nope, man, we're sinking. We're sinking. We're sick and we're dead. And then Mario and his crew died. Month star. Day X star. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along. And yet. We mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bomberry. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We have made a some blind civil civilized life here. The ship's floats and washed, and, and, and we are now having a salty beard, bread, salty bread, and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty until we, you know, we start kind of losing our minds. Because the thing is, if you're not, you know, eh, washing the minerals of the salt of water, you kind of, you kind of hallucinate. Like your mind just, your mind just starts to see crap. Then when you start to see crap, that's it. You're just seeing nuts. Yeah, you're seeing nuts. That's all you're going to see. You're just going to see actual literal nuts. Just nuts, guys. Three years on the island now, and the huts are all finished. We have caught a life out here, though we are all dreamed to return to Roport. Yeah, that ain't happening. But yeah, now that we end up doing that, Sonic Forces and... <laughs> hey, look, at least they only do it once. In all honesty, do you really want to... Eh, I don't know. To be honest, the game kind of told us, but you kind of want to see it. But in all honesty, you can just get the vision in your head. Speaking of island, it is time for us for to meet a recurring character. Ah, there's actually nothing back there. Oh, that's disappointing. Say hello to the wonderful and lovable Waka. This is a Waka. The Waka is by far the most beautiful enemy in the... Well, not an enemy. Actually, I did mention that the Waka was supposed to be an enemy before because there is a title log for him kind of like being an enemy, but he's not really an enemy. That's a rare Waka. I don't think you see many of his kind anymore. I wonder why. If you whack a Waka, they drop a Waka bump. Those are supposed to be delicious. They fetch a high price in gourmet at auctions too. Yep, super precious deliciousness. Still, whacking a defenseless creature to get one. You never do that, right Mario? Yeah, I would. Waka, ow, don't hit me. Alright, so let's go ahead and just get this out of the way. Just like in the original Paper Mario, if you hit Waka too many times, he will die. Or he'll disappear. Look, some people theorize that if you hit him too much, he dies. Some people theorize if you hit him too much, he disappears. I theorize that if you hit him too much, you give him brain damage to a point that he just ups and leaves and has that 
brain damage throughout the entire game. In all honesty, it's kind of one of the most darkest things that you can ever do. And you only need a whack of, if you need a bunch of whack of bumps to heal you, something's wrong with you. And if you kill a whack of or make it run away to a point that it becomes extinct, you are the fault for the flamingos. Wait, is it flamingos that are extinct? No, it's dodos. I'm dumb. <laughs> Flamingos, yes, flamingos are extinct now. <laughs> Why are they in heat fight? What's going on? What, what's happening? What? What? And what about you, Squanty? You turned a jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quacking, quaking in your boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait a moment. Did, did you just call the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants. Fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops, from your demand satisfaction. You, me, hammers at the dawn. Oh, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. They're here. What? Who's here? Captain Stash, them ghosts are back. What? No, well, that's, that's nice. Mario, front and center. This is an order. Take care of those ghosts. Uh, really? Uh, mm. well, it's actually a good thing I have Goombella out, because it actually makes this easier for me to actually deal with. Yeah, of course we can't flip for this battle. Why, um, why ever would we? Anyways, just these guys are similar to how you fought them in the Star Road in the original Paper Mario. They're exactly just as you think. And of course, they take double the damage from ice, even though I kind of like to think that that would have instantly killed them, but I guess not. I'm actually kind of sad about that. That's an ember, sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, defense is zip. Of course, since this thing is flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Mama Luigi? Look, like it's spontaneous, it's less succumbable to ice or explosive attacks, though. So that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try to guard it well. Sure, I shall do that. Oh, well. Okay, well. I say that, and then I completely, um, alright. I already knew that was gonna happen to you. Oh, you guys got eight, no wonder. That's a bit obnoxious. You guys got a guy Hey, All right, let's actually showcase art attack. Damage all enemies you encircle in a star. This is actually a pretty cool um, ability. You basically literally do um, what I like to think of as motion controls. But it's actually really not. Um, bonus points if you actually do this to enemies that are, that are smaller. Bonus points if you do this to enemies that are larger. Ironic. Um... Obviously enough, when you are fighting larger enemies, it's a bit difficult to do the circle. Which I kind of like to think of Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, but that's just me. Nobody would get that reference, but whatever, it's fine. Yes, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. Too early to separate, no. There are surely more of them elsewhere, aye? Someone must investigate the rest of the island, yes? I thought that's what you guys were doing. What are you guys doing? Just standing in one spot, just looking at the... Eh, whatever. Mario, perhaps you could handle the exploration. C can do. Yes, my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. With boldness, we count upon you. Yeah, of course you do. Cause I have to do everything. Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably like the perfect time for me to actually go into the shop here and go ahead and get ourselves an ice storm. Once again, I really need to stop um, playing defensively. But who cares? My game. <laughs> it's like, who cares? My game. Uh, I won't need the Earthquake Badge no more, so I'll just put that away, and I will probably put, I'm actually gonna put the whack -a bump away, because I'm kinda gonna just, I'm kinda just gonna save it for a rainy day. By rainy day, meaning when I'm doing that, that part of the game. Here's your prize, a fine Super Shroom. Oh, thanks. Oh, now we got ourselves a Super Shroom. Well, there goes our items being filled up again. Oh, that's good. We kind of didn't really have a shroom. We only has. Uh, oh, we have a life shroom. I'm keeping a life shroom just for assurance sake. You never really know what's gonna happen. All right, so I'm actually gonna keep this episode a bit short. So in the next episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we'll actually be exploring Keelhaul Key Island. I've been CCX, and the fact that we are now stuck on this very wonderful island, you cannot go back. As I said, luckily enough, they have some supplies of items and a resting stop. Sadly, I. You have to pay for the, and 
That is dumb. Why do you need money? You suck. Anyways, um, in the next episode, we shall explore more of Keyhole Key. I've been C-Sax, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters!